Mortar is easily one of the best, if not the best, tower in Bloom Sea Battles 2 right now, and because of it, Ninja Kiwi is nerfing it quite heavily in the next update. So today, I'm going to show you some mortar strategies that you can use and win a lot of games in Bloom Sea Battles 2. So let's get it, guys. Let's hop right into it. And if you guys enjoy me showing the best loadouts in Battles 2, please hit a like on today's video. And also, we are trying to hit 50,000 subscribers before the summertime, and we just hit 45,000. So thank you guys so much. But now on to the video. Let's get it, guys. All right, our first match of today's video, guys, is against K List, and we are on the map building site. We are on the strategy of tack. Mortar and Boat. Now, guys, this strategy is getting severely nerfed next update. They are, one, nerfing Highwayman Jericho a ton, which is going to make it a lot harder to get your steals. Um, they're making it also send BADs for a more expensive more expensive price. But two, the bigger nerf is they're nerfing Shell Shock on the Mortar by, like, $200 or something. I forget exactly the price nerf, but it's pretty significant. So that'll definitely impact it quite a bit. But we'll see how things are playing out. Okay, this, um, this is someone who's really high on the Hollow Masters leaderboard right now. They're actually going to tax start, which is interesting. They are above me on the Hollow Masters leaderboard, actually. So I better win this game. If I'm trying to, you know, do well on the Hollow Masters leaderboard, I need to win this one. But yeah, I want to showcase Tack Mortar strategies today because Tack Mortar is one of the best combinations in the entire game. It's really important for you guys to learn it as well. Um, good on a lot of maps. So yeah, should be a fun one. I should have an eco lead on my opponent for sure here because I'm just sending max blues while they're trying to layer on me and stuff. So I'm definitely up on eco. They're up on lives a little bit, but that's totally fine. I'll take my eco lead any day of the week. And they sell their tax rate, so they also took a sell loss on the tack as well, which is nice for us. So definitely think my start was a little bit better than theirs, but they do have a life advantage on me. So that is one thing that needs to be taken into account a little bit. But I still think I'm in a better position overall. For sure. All right, we're good. We're good. Let's get a boat down right here. Perfect. And we'll send them space whites. Are they actually not going to go for a merchantman? They're sending me max eco like they're playing a pure eco loadout. Maybe they're not going to go for an early merchant. They have sniper. What is this loadout? I definitely thought they were on the same loadout as me. Tax sniper is interesting. Huh. Tax sniper mortar maybe as their third? I don't know. I have no clue now. This has thrown me for thrown me in a in a for a whirl here. I don't know if I get my merchantman this round. I might have over ecoed. Did I get one more eco boost, please, please game. I'd really appreciate it. There we go, perfect. They're gonna send me yellows here most likely. I'm just gonna go for a grape shot on my boat. Yep, there we go. The grape shot on the boat with the um with the blade shooter should be enough to defend yellows. Yeah, we force a second tax shooter on their side and some upgrades on it. I'll take that. I'll take that for sure. They upgrade their sniper a little bit. Fair enough. Let's get my mortar down right here. Secret mortar spot, guys. Secret mortar spot. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, gentlemen. They upgrade their sniper a little bit as well. That's fine. Balloon buster. I like my positioning here. They go double blade shooter. What is this guy's loadout? I think I'm honestly up on eco. Or like pretty much even or up on eco on them. And I've got... A merchantman on our side so like I'm definitely in a much better economic position let's steal from them that's fine this is on strong I feel like I should rush them I don't think that sniper defends that much but I don't even know what their third is is the problem okay they actually go for a full auto rifle on their side too which will actually defend quite a bit so I might let them be, I think, will be the better play. Just let them be. Okay, we got Shell Shock on our side. We're good. They sent me a little bit of a bait rush. We're fine, though, against that. All right, we're going to try to get my favorite trades up before this round ends. I don't know if I'll actually get in time. It's Engineer. Tax Sniper Engineer. What is this loadout? Did not expect Engineer to come out. Okay. So balloon trap's actually gonna make them a lot of money is the thing here. Balloon trap will make them a lot of money. Yeah, we're fine. We'll boost this. Hmm, how do I even rush this loadout? I've never seen this loadout before. I have never seen it. Might send them a fortified moab some balloons behind okay, 
It looks like they're good on their end. Nicely done. I'm gonna send them another four or five mob with some balloons behind. A second. Maybe send some fortified leads behind it. Okay, forced tower boost on their end. We're against their for we're going against their fortified mob. They forced ring of fire as well. This game's gotten interesting. I think I all out them. Send camels behind everything. They're dead. Let's go. Okay, that's what I'm talking about, dude. That was a that was a weird one. That was a really weird one. I had to send some big rushes there. I'll take it though. All right, our next match of today's video, guys. Different loadout here. We are using the mortar still because the mortar is really the tower I wanted to use the most because it's def it's it's gonna be a lot worse next season. So we're on the strategy of um dartling mortar and heli, which is actually a pretty good eco loadout that no one really uses. Um, definitely does deserve some respect though. So we're gonna start with our mortar right here. It's very, it's very, very strong, and I'll show you why. Mortar right here. Their opponents going um boomerang with Quincy here, which is pretty interesting. Boomer Quincy on this map. I don't really know what load they're maybe like boomer mortar farm. I don't exactly know. I'm gonna guess boomer mortar farm. Yep, there's the farm coming out from them. All right. I could send them some space balloon eco and probably cause some havoc on their side, but it's probably not this, a smart decision for me because I want to um maximize my eco here with an eco loadout. So. Sending group reds is going to be the best option for me then. Those group reds. Okay. We'll send group blues now. And we will upgrade my dartling to powerful darts. All is good. We'll just keep my dartling kind of targeted upwards here. So then the balloons have to travel all the way over here to start getting popped, which means the rounds will get stalled. Which is exactly what we want right now. And I'll probably end up getting my striker jones down, maybe round four. Now, the good thing is my opponent's not anti-stalling at all either. Look how far these balloons have to travel to get popped on their side. So these rounds are getting heavily stalled right now, which is exactly what we want. Also, their boomerang is just throwing right into the obstacle. So, yeah. That is something. Um, My opponent is not cooking, bro. Who let this guy in the kitchen? What, what just happened? What just happened on their side? I don't know why they didn't just upgrade their first boomerang to ricochet. Okay, well, I'm in a good position then after all of that stuff. They finally got their ricochet up, so they'll be fine now, but... They had to sell their farm, boost, Quincy 3, sell their other boomerang in the process. So they lost a bunch of money there. They lost a bunch of money. Okay, one more eco boost. I get my faster barrel spin up. Perfect. All is good. I don't even know what to keep this targeted on. Not sure what the best targeting is for my Stricker Johannes. Oh crap, I'm about to die. My Dartling targeting is. Okay. We'll keep it on first. I don't want a popping black balloon, so last targeting would not be very good against black balloons here. First should work out decently. And we'll send them a lot of yellows here. Now we actually will not end up going for Hydro Rocket Pods this game because um we do have Mortar. Mortar is gonna be our round 13 type defense, so. HRP would be a bad decision to go for. Mortar is much more cost effective with Striker Jones. Even on this map, which is not necessarily a ne not necessarily known as a mortar map, it will still be the better option. Alright, they use Rapid Shot there, that's fine. Let's get a mortar down right here. If they send me like region zebras next round, which are somewhat deadly, I think I go for a shell shock against them. So that's the plan against region zebras. We go for a shell shock. It's sub, so it's boomer sub farm. Okay, let's we'll send them some zebra balloon eco. Just keep maximizing my economy here. My eco is actually really good here. I like it. They got plantation on their end, so they actually are farming decently well. All things considered. Let's get another uh, mortar down. We'll target at the start. Burn any stuff faster. Reload on that. Okay, are they gonna send me round eleven? They haven't, they haven't built up anything on their side in a while, so I know my opponent's hovering a bunch of money right now, which is a little bit scary, I'm not going to lie. We'll send them some spaced rainbows here. Let's target this mortar at the end of the round to stall this round a little bit. And we'll target it back. 
get Shell Shock up. They actually boosted on their side. Wait, what? I didn't even see anything leaking. I don't know what just happened. They bought Reactor instead of um, more Glaives, which is interesting too. I definitely think more Glaives is better than Reactor. But. Okay. We'll just keep on ecoing. If they rush me, I'll obviously have to respond, but. Maybe I just get a third mortar pre placed. Yeah, they haven't sent me anything in a long while. I, I feel like they're going to rush me pretty hard here soon. Uh, they're going for another plantation. Never mind. This guy's the plantation planter over here. Holy cow. Okay. I just gotta stay, I gotta stay alert, ladies and gentlemen. I gotta stay alert. Still nothing. My eco's pretty solid here. I've got 1600 eco, which is very good pacing. Uh, spaced purples, I should be fine against all these. Round 17, are they gonna send me Moabs? Still nothing. Okay. I'm very, very scared. I probably shouldn't send pink balloons. Pink balloons are going to be too much eco to go for. If they send me a bunch of mobs, I think I actually go for a laser cannon here. It's going to be my plan. Laser cannon does some decent mob popping power. They went for a ballistic on their side. Oh, and uh, more glaives. And they sent me a moab. We should go for a laser cannon here. Okay, we should be fine against this. Yeah, we're totally fine. We're totally fine. All right, easy defense. I don't really know what my opponent's doing, to be honest. Their eco's got to be like 500 here. They haven't ecoed in forever. So all I need to do is survive. And they're going to be really poor for late game. Okay, they're all out. Wait, no, they went for BRF. Okay. I thought they were all outing me for a second. My eco here is pretty fantastic. I guess I'll start saving up for my first heli farm now. We'll lock this in place over here. Just knock back balloons. The good thing with our loadout is we have Moab Shove. If they send me like a ZMG or something, I can stall it really long. For a very, very long period. Speaking of ZMGs. Start popping this guy down with my uh, laser cannon. It's fortified as well. Because this is actually a pretty expensive send. Mob shove this. The mob shove with the striker stun actually does a really good job of sl slowing this down. I think all I'm going to need against this is an artillery battery. Believe it or not. Just one artillery battery with my laser cannon and mob shove and I'll be fine. Oh, they are sending me that. All right, let's get our artillery battery up. actually move this on follow mouse okay we're good against the moabs yeah I, I i have faith that this will defend i literally have faith that this will defend we should keep stalling this our laser cannon pops it down slowly and then i'll use artillery battery ability okay well that does change stuff up a little bit the fact that they're sending me bfbs now so maybe i just go for plasma accelerator here plasma accelerator should be able to find be fine against this now Let's get 4,000 Nico just so I have a clean number. Get 4,000. Okay, I almost died. Crap. Let's use a bad ability. Let's stall this. We're good. Oh wait, I didn't even tower boost. Tower boost? Let's not throw this. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. <laughs> we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. They're dead to DTs. Okay. And we can just get a poppin' on our side and just stall. Yep. That's GG, okay. Alright. Two for two with the mortar, guys. I will catch you guys in the third and final match showcasing the mortar. Let's get it. Alright guys, our last match of today's video with the Mortar is with my favorite Mortar late game loadout, which is Bomb, Mortar, and Heli. We're going to start with our Bomb Shooter right here, and we're going to Trigger Jones with this, of course, as well. We're going to Starth Gavin here, and I think they brought Churchill, so it might be some sort of Engineer Churchill loadout coming out from my opponent. We'll have to wait and see on that one. But we got I Love Chipotle down on our side. 
And then we're going to upgrade this to Frog Bombs. We won't get Striker Jones down for a while here, most likely. Kind of like I did on the Dino Graveyard game. Wait on Striker Jones placement just to have a little bit more Eco Greed, since you don't really need to get Striker Jones down round one. Now, the downside about this, I'm now realizing, is looking at their Churchill, it anti stalls pretty hard. Um, it pops these balloons basically right when they come out. You see that? So that's definitely going to limit my eco here, which is quite unfortunate, I've got to say. But we'll see what we can do here. Let's send them blues. Let's get the cluster bomb up. All right. We're fine. We're okay. We're okay. They got their farm down. Nicely done. Have leaked a little bit, but thankfully we aren't against Jericho. So technically leaking early game is not that bad for me because I don't have to worry about Jericho camos. Jericho camels are always a little bit of a annoying thing, but I don't have to worry about this game. So that is indeed a W. We got bigger bombs in our end. This is on last. It's not actually, okay, I want it hitting like in the intersection. Yeah, there you go, bomb shooter. Hit in the intersection, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, pal. And we'll get our Striker Jones with it as well, right behind it. And we will go back to max economy now. This should be enough defense to hold for the first eight rounds and then when zero balloons come around i might need to get heavy bombs on my bomb shooter but this should be pretty good setup for me all is good they got an engineer down so it is engineer we just don't know the third third one could be super monkey third one could be spike factory third could third third one could be ace most likely one of those three they use churchill ability fair enough they did end up leaking, so I have the life advantage. Well, I don't have the life advantage yet, but I will have the life advantage through heli farms, so that's always nice. Always a nice thing I can rely on if it comes down to it. Keep sending them yellows here. Mix in some whites. There we go. Round eight. We'll just keep sending the yellow balloons. Just trying to maximize my economy. Another good thing about the yellow balloons, it kind of blocks their Churchill a little bit. From popping the AI, the AI, so hopefully some AI balloons kind of get past the Churchill and the round gets stolen a little bit, but I don't know if that's necessarily happening. Okay, I'm actually starting to leak a little bit on our end. I might need to buy heavy bombs. Or I can go for a mortar instead. No, there's enemy zebras, I need to go for heavy bombs for sure. Heavy bombs is a necessity. We got it up. And then on round 12, we need a signal flare. So we'll get a mortar down right here. And then we'll have to upgrade a choice into the signal flare. Once. They got their sentry expert up, so nicely done there. Still do not know their third. Signal flare has been bought. Alright, we're good. My eco is pretty solid here too. Even with their Churchill anti stole, we still got almost a thousand eco here, which is just a testament to how cheap my defense is. If my defense wasn't so cheap to defend round 13 and stuff, I would not have a thousand eco right now. Yeah, they're sending me region ceramics. I honestly should be pretty fine here. It's on first. Boost. We're fine. They got aggro aggro at me. They send me a rerush. I think I'll go double clusty. I don't think I need double cluster against ceramics. We just we defend it with what I currently have now. Yeah, we're good. Okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. This is enough. We'll just keep ecoing. But yeah, this anti stole is pretty brutal on these rounds, so my eco will be quite limited because of that. Which is something. Oh, they're selling everything. Okay. Think I'm good. That actually got really close. Holy cow. I did not expect to get that close. I might have boosted a little bit late there. If they rerush me, I go for a shell shock. Okay, Moab, we just go for a molar. So we'll defend easily. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Those region ceramics were a little bit scary. Alright, we're good. No complaints. They send me fortified mob. I'd probably go for a down draft heli.
Yeah, should be able to forward down draft here pretty soon. Come on, down draft, down draft, down draft. We're good. Down draft blows back the insides enough for me. And all I need to do is pop this layer down. Yep, look at that. Perfect. Such a good combination. Such a good combination, ladies and gentlemen. And now we'll just start saving up for the support Chinook. Did they quit? Uh, I think there's a decent chance they quit here. Bro, what? Come on, bro. Soon. Three, two, one. Disconnected. Three, two. Okay. Yep. All right. I'll do one more match for you guys. I'll give you guys a four piece chicken McNugget for today because I can't get a. Dude, I can't get a good late game. I'm trying my best. All right. Let's get it. All right, our last match of today's video, ladies and gentlemen, is on the map of Glade here with the little Boomerang Mortar Spike Factor. We're against Bacon, who's starting with an anti stall dart on their end. So this will be an interesting one for sure. Boomerang Mortar Spike Factory is a great strategy in this map, though. So I kind of like my chances here against Dart. Normally, with this Dart strategy, they try to be really aggressive towards you, too. And being aggressive against this loadout might not work out very well for you because this loadout is pretty good against rushes. That's like the whole spiel with the loadout. They can defend everything quite easily. So, we'll have to wait and see though. Let's micro the boomerang targeting a little bit. Maybe he's gotten last. We can improve rings on this. And we'll try to get our Highwayman Jericho on round two here. I think they brought Star Captain Jericho, my opponent. So, that's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna expect to see out of them probably coming out this round. Actually, do I get the income boost I need? They might have anti stalled me out of it. No way! That's so bad. I didn't. I shouldn't have upgraded improved rings on this boomerang. I thought I would get it in time. I'm gonna have to boost this. That's fine. Okay, that's really bad. They got round three star cap, round three high man Jericho though. That puts me in a pretty bad spot. Buying improved rings on this bottom boomerang made it so I couldn't um, I couldn't afford my high man Jericho in time. All right, we're, it's fine though. It's fine. Let's switch the hand on this. We'll keep Sky on last. It's on strong. Okay, we're good. And then we'll get my ricochet here pretty soon. Or ricochet up. Yeah, I'm not going to get a steal for a while here with round three. All right, ricochet has been bought. We're fine. They got crossbow on their side as well. So they're they're playing hard on the anti stall here. So they're not going to have very many farms on their side. They actually sold their trip dart. Interesting. They moved it. Yeah, I don't know what my opponent's necessarily cooking over there. What they've got going in the kitchen with their defense. They hit me with the unlucky. They get their farm down. They're going to steal from me in a second. Yeah, they stole from me. That's fine. I'm not going to get my steal till like round seven here. Which is a little bit unfortunate. They're going to struggle against yellow balloons though. They're going to need to do something against yellows for sure on their end. Maybe get up a spolt. We'll have to wait and see. They go for a spike factory. So it starts spike factory farm as their loadout. I thought it would be dark mortar. Force a tower boost on their end. I'll take that. Let's, let's steal from them. Okay. I'm not going to get my second steal forever, though. Normally, you want to have your second Jericho steal in round 11. I won't get my second Jericho steal until, like, round 13. So that's going to be kind of rough for me. Smart spikes. Close targeting. We're going to get this up to a long life as well. And we're also going to buy bigger stacks on this pretty soon. Send them a couple zebras. A balloon boost these. Yeah, we forced we forced sport on their side. I think they're pretty good with sport. We got bigger stacks up. Let's go for a mortar right here. Okay, they get a round eleven steal and I don't, so this is gonna be a little bit of a problem. Okay, they just use their steal. That's fine. If they send me camel leads. I'm gonna go for a signal flare. They actually went for um deadly spikes on their side. Okay, so they're playing the big spike pile route. But their farms are definitely not really there for them. And they got a jug as well. Okay, so they're playing it pretty safe. But they're alive. So nicely done to them. 800 eco is not bad for me, though. We'll steal from them. We sold the farm. Okay, I like my positioning. I like my positioning here. I think we're doing decent. Even with the rough start with our round 3 Jericho. I think we've made a decent, um, decent plays after it. You know what I'm saying? Almost 1k on the eco. We're good in there. 1k has been hit. Nice. 
Still no rushes from them. I think I'm going to try to get deadly spikes before... I'll get deadly spikes up, like, rounds into round 16, before the mob class rounds hit, is when I want to have deadly spikes down by. Before the mob class rounds come out. So, two more eco boosts and I can afford deadly spikes. Oh, wait, no, they stole from me. And I don't have my steel available. Oh, that's bad. This is all from the round three Jericho, bro. It comes back to bite me. I still think I get this in time, though. Okay, Deadly Spikes has been bought, thankfully. Yeah, they're sending me a Moab. Sending me another one. I'm gonna boost. I should be fine on boost. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Are they gonna all out me? Or what? I'm a little bit scared. I pretty have a pretty nice spike pile on the back now. Doesn't seem like they're interested. Okay. I think I'm gonna go for a second deadly spikes, to be honest. Same spot, basically, on it. We're just gonna build up a really nice pile. A really nice pile. Keep us on last. Long life. Bigger stacks. Okay, opponent has stopped their eco. Which means they might be planning on round 22 rushing me. I'm not sure yet. I'll get the second deadly spikes here pretty soon, though. Maybe round 20 I'll get it up. They just sold my bionic. That's fine. Second deadly spikes is bought now. We're good with that. We've got round 21 AI coming out in a second. Which is going to be a little bit of a problem. We'll get a glaives. We'll get a... Kylie on our side, and we'll go for another Kylie as well. These Kylies can be upgraded to more presses if they more brush me, is the idea with them. I want stuff that can be upgraded in the presses. Is, is there Spike Pile solo the AI? Holy cow. Yeah, they had like no defense for that. I probably shouldn't still be ecoing. I feel like they're gonna rush me. So far, nothing. Alright, let's send them one. I sent them one. They, they actually went for a farm. They're dead. Well, that is it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what your favorite mortar strategy was in the comment section down below. And do you think mortar deserved the nerfs it is getting? Hope you guys enjoyed, though. Hit the like button if you did. Ram like out. Peace, lads.